the recent deaths of Beverly Hills 90210 star Luke Perry and filmmaker John Singleton are raising awareness about strokes. Joining us now, legendary Olympic sprinter Michael Johnson, who suffered and survived a stroke, and stroke neurologist Dr. Carolyn Brockington, here to talk about ways to reduce your risk. Thanks for coming on the show. I think a lot of people are taking a look at those celebrity cases and are really shaken up here. What are your thoughts, doctor? The key is uh, certainly prevention in stroke, but then also we have to talk about if you're having a stroke, what do you do? So I think one of the misconceptions about stroke is that a lot of people think, oh, I only have to worry about that if I'm older. And really the recent news shows us that strokes can occur at any age, which is something that we've known all along. But I think that people need to realize that if you're having signs and symptoms of a stroke, just because you're young doesn't protect you. Michael, did you realize you were having a stroke at the time? No, I didn't actually. All of a sudden I started to notice a uh, very strange sensation in my left leg. Um, I, I was at lost coordination with my left foot. Um, I was feeling weakness in my left leg and then um, also, I was experiencing a tingling sensation and numbness in my left arm. Um, I ultimately decided to go to the hospital and go to the emergency room, but uh, it, it wasn't because I was experiencing any sort of uh, pain or significant discomfort. It was just out of, out of, out of caution, uh, I decided, because I know my body well and I know that this just, just did not feel quite right. So. I was very fortunate to have gone to the hospital and, and got treated immediately because ultimately um, the doctors determined that I had suffered a stroke on the right side of my body, uh, right side of my brain rather. Um, and um, from the time that I experienced initially this strange sensation until the time that I got to the, the hospital, things deteriorated quite quickly. Um, by that time I was no longer able to walk. I was no longer able to put any weight on my left side. I had lost all uh, uh, feeling on the uh, in my foot. Um, so it was a pretty significant uh, 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 deterioration between the time that I first experienced this strange sensation until I got there. Um, but fortunately, because I did get there quickly, um, I was actually able to eventually make a full recovery. Doctor, add on what some of the signs are to watch out for if people think they might be having a stroke. So we know that stroke occurs suddenly, right? So it's almost as if a light switch went off. And the reason is, is that stroke is actually an injury to the brain that results from not enough blood getting to the brain. So if we know how the brain works, that the left side of the brain controls the right side of the body and vice versa. Right side of the brain controls the left side of the body. Maybe enough blood doesn't get to the right side of the brain and you start to develop symptoms on the left side. And it's gonna be over seconds to minutes. It's not gonna be over months and years. How critical is it to get help right away? The key is to recognize it right away to realize that you have to go to the hospital because we have very effective treatments for stroke um, but they are limited in terms of the time that we can give it so we want people to realize what a stroke is recognize it appropriately and then call 911 because they will take you to the hospital that has a specialized team in treating stroke uh, diagnosing and then treating it appropriately. Michael it must have been difficult for you to slow down and take time off from work to heal. I'm fortunate. I, I run my own company and I've got a great team of, uh, of uh, directors and, and VPs uh, that were able to sort of take over. But uh, I, I made the decision yeah, to take off two months from work and really sort of go back to the same sort of focus that I had when I was an Olympic athlete training to win Olympic gold medals and break world records. I was waking up every morning with one singular focus and that is the training that I need to do today. But at, at this particular point, as opposed to training for gold medals and world records, I was training for you know my livelihood back, being able to walk again, being able to dress myself again um, and, and get back to uh, the high level of uh, physical activity that I was experiencing before I had the stroke. So I had to take off time from work, um, which was tough for me. I, I love my work, I love what I do, and, um, and it is my passion. But this was obviously um, um, certainly a priority for me to get back to that level of, of physical activity uh, that I previously had, and I was, I was able to fortunately able to get back. Doctor, leave us with that FAST acronym for spotting stroke symptoms. We say that time is brain in stroke treatment, so we want people to act fast. So if you think of the word FAST, F-A-S-T, 
F is for face. If suddenly your face is drooping on one side, maybe you're having a stroke. You need to go to the hospital right away. A is for arms. You need to be able to outstretch your arms. If one keeps dropping or the leg's not moving, that may be a sign of a stroke. Uh, S is for speech. Sometimes speech is garbled or you can't think of the words you want to say or you don't understand what people are saying to you. That may be a sign of the stroke. And then T is for time. You know, this is the time that everybody Googles their symptoms and tries to figure it out. You have to really just call 911 and be taken to the closest hospital so that they can treat you appropriately. So think act fast, F-A-S-T in terms of some of the symptoms that you may see from stroke. For your viewers want to hear more about stroke, what to do, prevention, and also prevention strategies, strokeassociation.org slash stroke month. Thank you, and we wish you both the best of health. Thank, Thank you for you. having us. Check out businessfirstam.com to find out where to see our entire show. And don't forget to like, follow, and share Business First AM.